what's going on and welcome everybody magnet junkie here boy we're at a beautiful spot today Merritt island I believe yeah it's called kelly park kelly park so we have actually been here one time before it was just this past memorial day i brought the girls out here but we didn't have much time for actual magnet fishing because cooking grilling having a good time so we're gonna get the magnets back out in this water and see what we can find today. As always, I appreciate everybody for tagging along. And if anybody needs any more information or a discount on a magnet, it'll be in the description right down below. Let's get this magnet in the water. All right, everybody, it is a little windy out here today and I apologize about that. I do have the screen guard. We don't really use it though. It just overheats this camera too much in this Florida heat. Very first throw. Oh. There we got a screwdriver on there. Let's see what else is going on here. Oh my goodness gracious. What is all of this? Whoa, it just keeps coming. Okay. Uh, here's the very first throw. I need to know. What's going on here? I don't even know what's going on here, guys. Some big piece of metal. We got some, some rope all caught in here. More string coming out here. This looks like it's from a cast net. And a screwdriver. Okay. What this thing is. Yeah, I guess it's as good as mine. It's like one of those little pop-up tents or something. For shade. I don't know. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Yeah. As I was leaving today, the G75 was delivered. You guys will see that soon. Love the Genesis range. Little scraps on there. A little, little piece of rebar. There's a cool little shell that got caught on a piece of metal there. Alright. And on a bolt too. Ooh, did it say on it? Still pulling something. Did we get it? We did get it. Part of a cast net. Oh, we just got lucky on grabbing that. Alright. I hate these things. Terrible to be in our water. Something else is on there too. Oh uh, yeah, there's part of the cast net. A little weight. What's on there? Whoa! Holy cow! Okay, that's got to be the biggest hook I've ever found. Look at that. Thing's brand new too. Again, guys, I apologize about the wind. I'll try to stand with my back to it. It's just putting that little screen guard on here kills it. This GoPro does not have uh, interchangeable batteries, so. Look at that. Looks like a spark plug. I think that is a spark plug. Nope, there's an old bolt. That. I think it's part of a toe strap. There's a little hook. Might be caught around something down there. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What do we got? A couple things at time. There's part of a fishing rod. What that guy is. Or what that guy is. There's something. Big, right there. What the heck? Ooh, there's a, there's a socket. 15 or so. 
There's a craftsman. Ooh, that was wrong. Seven eighths. Seven eighths. Man, this is back to back stuff. Part of a bungee cord. We're just pulling it apart piece by piece. <laughs> Magnet fishing. Wow. All right. Dude, that's a serious tent. Let's set this thing up. Oh, it's heavy too. Some of these are sometimes aluminum. This one's steel. Magnet's sticking all over it. You got a chair too. Part of the chair? Is that a fishing guy? I think that's part of the chair. Goodness gracious. We're gonna have some good scrap money today, boys and girls. Let that thing dry off. Alright, well that was fun. Got that guy out of here for right now. Aha! Uh -huh. That, my friends, is a pair of pliers. I'll take a half pair. <laughs> it's got to be. Whoa. All right. There we go. I call them earmuffs. Clean your boat motor. You boaters, man. Y'all got to do something better. I keep finding all your stuff. <clears throat> I'm still going to call them earmuffs because I can never remember what it's actually called. Got. All right, there is a tow strap. Not been down there that long at all. Thank you. Sure can't feel when something hits this daggum magnet. What is that? Pretty sure it's something from a boat or a trailer again. I don't know. What? What? What is happening? A ton of stuff. Another metal bracket. Oh, there's another one of those same things I just pulled out. Bracket and a bucket. Yeah. I don't know. I'll take it. Fishing hook, some line on there. Come here. If there's anything on the end of said rope. Why is it so heavy? It is heavy. Maybe that's what we were heading on. Here's the wheeze, guys. That's funny. Magnet pulled off of this big old thing. Pulled the rope in, got this in. Man, there's a ton of stuff down there. 
more rope. Uh oh. Kids fishing rod looks like Shakespeare, and we got some nice lead weights on there too. to a knife blade. I think it is. Here's the, yeah, there's still a button on it. I think the blade's missing. Yeah, a little pocket knife. All right. Something else. That's literally everything else. That's a spark plug right there. Yeah, there's the end of a spark plug. See the ceramic on it right there. I think I should just move it across a little bit. See if we can pull anything out over here. Oh, come on, rope. Got another big old hook there. Another spark plug. You can see that right there? I don't know if you guys can see it. You might be able to. See all the way across there? We're right at the port. We're on the cruise ships. Down near Port Canaveral. What is it? What's that? What's that? What's that? I knew we keep hitting something down there. Oh, that's a um, that's a light. It's this little signal light. You can clamp onto your kayak or your boat. That's a cool find. Yeah, a little blinking light so people can see you at night or whatever. See what else is down there. in the bag. There's another bracket support bar from this nice boat trailer. I don't particularly know if I want to open it, but we're gonna. Just a bunch of dirt and muck. Get that trash out of there too. bubbles coming up right there well let's get the hook oh god I'm standing in the ant pot pro tip don't stand in the fire ant pile jeez all right let's see if we can grab it this guy You've got to be kidding me. What is even happening right now? Um. What? What's happening? Hey. Yeah, I don't know. What the heck? Oh 
going. Alright. Now let's see if we can get it. This is the biggest thing I've ever come across, guys. I think it's an entire sailboat mast. I don't know if I can get it. I'm on the end of it. If I could possibly get it up a little bit. Hey guys, uh, that's an entire sailboat mast. I mean, this thing's gotta be 20 plus feet. I don't think I can get this out. Not even with the coming long. All right guys, yeah, I just counted it off. This thing's actually gotta be 25 feet. I don't know if y'all can really see it. I mean, it's full of water, ropes and metal wires I don't think I can get this I'd have to bring somebody else with me or I'm gonna kill myself and it's all the way so you see the bubbles coming all the way all the way all the way it ends right about there this bubbles flying up from it right now look at that that's how much water's in look at all that bubbling up bloop bloop Hey boys and girls, that's gonna do it for today. If you can see where I'm standing right here, the top of that sailboat mast is right there and it runs all the way to the end of these pylons. There's absolutely no way I can get that out. So we'll get some other people, we'll get the come alongs and we'll come back out here and get that out. There's no way I can do it. I've broken my back and killed the battery on this thing. So we have to stay there for next time. We'll get it out, trust me, you guys will see it. As always, I appreciate you all tagging along and everybody remember, get up, Get out, go find yourself, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.